Hi, I'm going to show you how to use the plan app the way I use it. So you click the plan app and then you click the plus on the top right image and you choose the photos that you want to use. I'm going to use the photos that I have on my device. So I can look into here, say my favorite photos. It could be really anything that would fit in nine tiles. Let's try to plan nine tiles. So see if I want to have a waterfall, I'm going to have my sun, the river, some biking images, maybe a um, little dog image, um, and so on. <clears throat> These are just examples. You'll have to be a bit more strategic. So I click done and then see how these images appear on my plan gallery, let's call it. And then every image that has an Instagram um, little icon on it, it's because it's already been posted on my feed. The ones that don't will have a gray triangle on the top right. It means they're not published yet and I can work on them. So I'm going to move the images around so I don't have two images the same side by side. So that's a lot of like watercolors, but I can say, you know what, I'm just going to put this guy over here and you can work on what your image are going to look look better um, together or side by side. So not necessarily the best collection of images, but just so that you get an idea of how we can move things around. So plan kind of what you want your feet to look like. And then once you click on the image, you will see you can actually edit it. So at the bottom left, you will see um, these editing features. So you can filter, you can decide to use some of the Instagram I mean the plan filters or you can just leave it alone and use your own filters or your uh, with Instagram. But if you like, plan has some really great filters so you can say okay well I actually like this collection of um, smooth fit filters and you can adjust the filter strength by going up or down a little bit like that. To save your recipe, so if you're like, oh, I use Softy, just remember that you use Softy or Pebble, whatever the name is, and then you click done. You can adjust your uh, different features like this as well. So let's keep it simple and save that. As I said, you can always save it, just use the Instagram filters and not bother about photo editing. You can save to plan, save to your camera roll, or both um, if you want to use it for other purposes. So I'm going to have this and then you can start drafting your post. So um, say hello, fluffy, something, something. So I would write my post and then I can say, okay, I'm done typing my post. But then I click, see on the top it says done. So now if I go like for a bike ride and then I come back and I decide to still work on my post, I click back on it and I can keep typing. And then I click done and I can keep working on all my posts like that as I go. Now, if you click at the bottom right, you'll see hashtag. And this is super cool. You go into hashtag and you create hashtag folders. So see, I have all these hashtag folders that I've created. So if I can go, for example, into summer and I go into edit, you will see all my different hashtag that I've put there. So I can go edit them or just know that they're good. If I want to use this hashtag collection, I click copy and let's see at the bottom it says got it, then I click done. I go back to say my image I was working on and then I can move by click return, 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 return. I can move my hashtags to the bottom and this is cool because it actually saves the space. You know in Instagram everything gets squishy kind of thing but by using plan your spaces will be saved so you can actually type um, information and then have some space and make sure that your hashtags are a little bit hiding at the bottom. You can always delete some, add some and so on. When you and then I click done and as I said you can go during the week whenever you feel like it like you can go and edit everything. In your hashtag as well, you can click add and add a new collection. So I can say, for example, Vancouver and see it gives me a lot of different hashtag options. The red ones are the ones that you would be competing with uh, 20 million other posts. So it says 21 something. So these are all these people using these hashtags and posts. So you want to create a mix of more of the blue and green ones, say that are a little bit more uh, in line with your niche or where you are. And so you can go say Vancouver event, events, I can say um, Van Girls, like 
I mean, I have a whole video on hashtags and how to find them, but this is how you edit your hashtag collection. So I click done. And then right now I could use and copy and paste these, this hashtag set. So click done, going back to my images. If I'm, <clears throat> you can always schedule this. So this is a schedule, a reminder that's going to, um, that's going to help you just post for yourself. But I like to just post it when I'm ready to do it, because what if I kind of want to post this image, but there's a horrible day that day. And I like, you know what, I'm just going to post a more rainy photo for today. So I can always adjusting as I go when I'm ready to post. Um, I go and there's different features see at the bottom I'm not gonna get into that but say I'm ready to post fluffy here I go here and I click at the bottom right where it says copy and post and then it opens my Instagram if you're um, managing more than one Instagram account you want to make sure that you have the Instagram account that you want to use open on your phone otherwise it might post to someone else's account so I know this is my feed. I can post it to my story or my feed. So if I click story, here it goes. I can add, um, play it with my story or I can go into plan and then copy and post and post it to my feed. Now I can adjust this little guy, go next. I can see this is what I mean. You can still use your Instagram finger filters. If you double tap, you can adjust your filters just remember to keep in mind your filter recipe kind of thing so i've already um so i'm gonna go back to cancel and then i click next and then you want to click on this caption and you click again and then it's going to paste your caption from plan see how amazing it is so you click okay and then you would tag people, add your location. If you want to post it, so this is going to post. So now I make sure it's posting to my account. And at the bottom, it's going to say, do you want to post it on your so on your Facebook business page, which is something you could do automatically, or you could do it in two steps so you can edit the text to remove the hashtag. I have a video on that, but this is where this option comes up. And then you click share and that's it. Whenever you want to go back, um, share and then it's going to post on Instagram. If ever you're done with this one, you're going to see this is going to show as posted and then you can go work on your next post. That's it. This was a special video for my friend Elton with Molly Marvin. I hope it helps a lot of you using Plan to just have a better feel of what your feed is going to look like. Make sure to subscribe my, to my channel and hit the bell so you get notified and get the latest and greatest out of social media. Have a wicked day, everyone.